Hello good people of the internet, once again I go against my own word and upload another video about Generate Press that has nothing at all to do with photography but you know what, you seem to like my Generate Press videos so there's no reason not to do it. And to be honest I just had to create this video because what has happened in the last couple of weeks is absolutely massive, really massive. Today we'll be taking a sneak peek at Generate Press Premium 2.0. As per usual, Generate Press 2.0 is still some way away from being stable. What I'm using is an alpha release and alpha comes before even better. You really shouldn't be using Generate Press Premium 2.0 on your production site yet. I am because that's what I do. To be fair though, I am using it on what has essentially become my testing website. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Generate Press Premium 2.0 is not yet ready for prime time. In my time using the alpha version, I have encountered some bugs and weird behavior. Luckily, nothing has broken my site yet, but under certain circumstances, pages won't render properly and it will make the site look very unprofessional. Right, I teased you long enough and without any further ado, the big change awaiting you in Generate Press Premium 2.0 is that uses almost no jQuery. I know, I know, please keep it together and strap yourself in because I won't be talking about anything else throughout this whole video. You'd best put seat belts on your ears, Roy, because I'm going to take them for the ride of their lives. I'm joking, of course, and I'm a dad, so I will allow myself that awful dad joke. While Generate Press Premium will indeed use less jQuery and more vanilla JavaScript, which is always a good thing, that definitely isn't the headline feature. It might be with other themes, but Generate Press does things slightly differently. The biggest addition awaiting you is the fully fledged theme builder. You heard me right, you can now customize just about every aspect of Generate Press and it's all done using blocks. And guess which block this feature is intended for? That's right, generate blocks. I know there are many out there who work in a similar fashion to me and only ever use generate press for all their WordPress sites. In my opinion, being an expert in using one theme will take you way further than being slightly better than average in working with multiple themes. Undoubtedly, generate press is one of the easiest themes to customize out there. None of my sites look the same despite using the same setup and boy oh boy does the upcoming theme builder take customization to the next level. What exactly does this mean in practice? I'll try to explain and I'll show you a few examples later on, mainly because my explanations usually aren't quite up to scratch. You know how you could previously create sidebars and footers using block elements? You can now do the same for post meta, posts and page heroes and archive templates. And to accomplish that, we finally have access to dynamic data in block elements. What exactly dynamic data is, I will show you in a quick example. What you're looking at here is a category archive layout. This block represents what a post will look like in an archive. I'll show you what it looks like on the front end in just a minute. The title, where it currently says hello world, is a headline block from generate blocks. It will dynamically change to whatever the post's title is. And the same goes for the excerpt further down. And yes, even the image, which is simply the container's background, will be replaced by the post's featured image. What you will also see if I click on the title is that certain dynamic data isn't available for the headline block, namely the excerpt. Why that is, I do not know, but Generate Press itself now has a couple of blocks which will let you add missing dynamic data. Speaking of missing data, you can also add any custom fields you might have created. In this example, I've entered the value test into the custom field title test. This is in the post editor, by the way. In my post hero, I have simply created a headline and assigned it post meta dynamic data. The value is going to be test. And if we take a look at my post, you will see that test has now been included in the post hero. Not bad, right? How could this be useful, you're asking me? There are endless possibilities. Let's say you write guides on your blog, just like me. You could create a field indicating how difficult a certain guide might be and how long it would take. Or on my food blog, I could tell readers whether a recipe is vegetarian or not 
right in the posts hero. Back to my archive template. As you might have noticed, this block element has a Premiere Pro icon above the title. Having all of my posts earmarked with a Premiere Pro icon wouldn't be much use because I also write about Lightroom and much more. I was able to put the icon there because you can apply any template to only one category or multiple categories for that matter. So for Premiere Pro posts I'll use this logo and for Lightroom Classic I'll use another one. Let's have a quick look at what this template looks like for visitors of my site. You will see that only posts related to Premiere Pro will show up due to the display options I selected and that all the dynamic data has been replaced with the posts data. When we take a look at one of these posts you will also see that its hero is fully custom and I could add any of the previously mentioned data including the featured image, post author, date, etc, etc. The folks developing this feature have even gone as far to add multiple templates for each option and I'm really grateful for that because I would have been totally lost without them. The whole theme builder goes even deeper. You can add your own navigation to archives and posts, you can create author boxes that only apply to posts written by a certain author without any extra plugins or custom code. Sadly for some, with this release what I have long predicted is also coming to fruition. Sections which I used to love working with before Generate Press started focusing on the block editor are being deprecated. For me it's not an issue as I fully converted to the block editor many moons ago. The good news is that those who still use sections will continue to be able to use them. You just won't be able to install the module on new sites. If you do want to see what is possible with all the new features feel free to visit my site and leave me a comment. Keep in mind that this is my testing site and it's basically one massive building site all year round. Certain pages haven't been updated yet and changing to a dark theme I've given myself even more work to do. That's the short version of what has been added in Generate Press Premium 2.0. The length of this video won't indicate how big of a change this is but believe me it's massive. As always thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video hit the dislike button twice to make it extra impactful. I've been Liam Alexander Coleman and it has been enough from me for one day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.